everybody. Pam is Steve with Pam is Steve Mini Costuming. I'm going to talk about a new project I'm going to be starting that I'm actually pretty excited about. This week we received Lady Death from Fison TB League. She's actually a really awesome figure and you could tell from all of the listings and from the ad for her purchase that uh, it was really kind of going to be awesome. And then um, she was really difficult to buy from the first release because they had gotten so hard to get and they were pretty rare and they were really pricey. So when she came up for sale, I ordered two. One complete set which came with this really insanely detailed chair, which I'll show you real quick. There's the skull in the background and there's all of this and the detail on the front of the chair and it comes on this really oh for that this does not come with it but she comes with this really great helmet and you can see the sheath in the back and the sword so it's a really awesome set so if you're in the market for one I highly recommend buying it because it's a really great set so bought a second one and uh, I'm gonna pick her up here so you can see her. So this is the other piece. Now you can see I have already taken all the makeup off of the head and I also removed her manicure. I am searching for feet which I am going to have to paint in order to do the project I have in mind. I've pulled her hair back. It's just a simple little clip. But um, you can see that the head is actually a slightly different color than the body once you get the paint off. It turns out they had painted the head. Let me get a little better focus here. Here we go. So they had painted the head to match the body because when they pulled the plastic it wasn't quite the same color. So that means her hands are actually painted as well. And right here on the tips you can see where it's a little bit different color. Didn't take that long to get her makeup off. I still have a little work to do. I used Goof Off. Uh, her lips are still a little too pink, so that means there's a little bit of uh, color transfer to the plastic. I'll work on that. But um, real quick, let me uh, take her head off. I can do that with one hand, I'm not sure. Let's see. Come on, girl, let go. I'm going to wind up having to set this down. Oh, well, let me get a little leverage. In the meantime, I'll just pan right back up here. Oh, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take her head and put it next to the original head. Let me pull it back a little bit so they're the same size. So you can see that uh, the makeup on the original is the way it comes from Fison, and uh, it's quite a difference with paint. I think there's much more subtlety going on in this sculpt than you can tell from the paint. So I'm excited to paint her. I'm going to try it and if it doesn't work out for me I'll have someone else paint her. But then I have uh, major plans for her later. So stay tuned. I've got several other projects going on at this point and uh, I like to work a little on each one of them every day just to uh, keep things moving along so that I don't get bogged down with one. Stay tuned, subscribe if you like what you see, and uh, feel free to message me with questions, that kind of stuff, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.